In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn 2D logos into the superior 3D logos of the future. Some of the earliest commissions I did to the 3D generalist was creating videos for people with cool logos in 2D, and they just wanted them 3D, and we're going to make them right here in this video. Let's get started. Download the Images as Planes add-on in the Preferences. Shift plus A to add an image plane, and then go to the Modeling tab and go into material preview so you can actually see what is on this plane. After you do, tab into edit mode and then look for the knife tool. If you don't see the knife tool, you can hold left click and it might be the bisect tool. So if you're having any problems with that, just hold and then click the knife tool. With the knife selected, cut around the logo, just doing your best to follow the lines. Don't worry if this isn't to your perfectionist standards, we can always add a bevel with control shift B to get a smoother edge. This provides to be extremely useful when you have any curves in your model, and with this Google logo, you can see that it's mostly curves. For a lot of modern logos, you might even be done. Just slap on a solidify modifier and bam, sexy 3D logo. Wasn't that so, so easy? However, for the less pretentious logos, we have some more detail that we're going to need to add in. Cut out every single piece of this logo. That's going to be the mustache, the eyes, and the eyebrows. Make sure to do Control shift b if you have any curves like we did in the last Google logo. Select all your pieces and then Shift-D to cut them out and then right click separate by selected and then you can drag them up and you have your own pieces of the logo. We're going to do the same thing for the rest of his face uh, and you can do that by going to edit mode and then clicking on all of the white pieces. If you click C you get this little circle cursor. Um, you're going to Deselect that and then drag it up and now you have your two pieces. Now you are going to add your solidify modifier. I set the offset to zero to all of these and I'm actually going to deselect the mustache and I'm going to put the eyebrows in their own objects as well so we can change the solidification of all of these pieces. Mustache is going to be extruding out of his face, the eyes are a little bit outset and the eyebrows are going to be a little thick. Uh, the mustache is a little too thick right there and that looks perfect. If you turn the model to the side, you can see that it still has this weird clipping image texture. We're going to get rid of all of the materials on every one of our pieces, and we're just going to put a basic black and white texture on here. So the mustache is black, and the eyes are black, and the eyebrows are black. It's a pretty easy logo in that way, but you can do whatever you want to these. I'm going to turn the metallic up so you get a little bit of a darker scene, and I'm also going to add a back plane so you can see everything that's happening. We're going to shade everything smooth, and then go down and select auto smooth. Smooth. Auto smooth is going to make it so you have those nice smooth edges, but only on a 30 degree axis. Congratulations! You've achieved printer level status with 3D logo creation. If you've enjoyed this style of content, give this video a like so I can bang my head against the wall trying to write another script. I will see you in the next video. See ya.